Islam Wars, we, uh, we're going to introduce a new document that I prepared, and it's kind of a basis for uh, why. Uh, what's our motivation? Uh, what is the purpose uh, for forming a government? And how does that help you out as an individual national? Uh, so I went to the Black's Laws Dictionary. I put together a list of some terms that are uh, extremely germane to our purposes and the subjects of nationalization and government in relation to AMPAC and why it behooves you or uh, why it's in your best interest to nationalize with a state provincial government in whatever jurisdiction that you presently um, domicile. So. We're going to go ahead and get started with the reading. Citizen, a member of a free city or general society, civitas, possessing all rights and privileges which can be enjoyed by any person under its constitution and government and subject to the corresponding duties. Citizens are members of a community inspired by a common goal who associate, who associated relations, submit themselves to rules of conduct for the promotion of general welfare and conservation of individuals as well as collective rights. And American law one who under the constitution and laws of the United States or a particular state is a member of political community, owning allegiance and being entitled to the enjoyment of full civil rights, all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. Pause there. So one who, under the Constitution and laws of the United States or a particular state, is a member of a political community, owing allegiance and being entitled to the enjoyment of full civil rights. Do we owe our allegiance to the corporation? No. Why? Because they're false um and they're not they, they're not the true they're not the true um owner du jour. but what does that have to do with you like who are you um uh, <laughs> i'm not a party to well like i'm trying not to be a party but to but you're an indigenous autochthonous more oh yes right? <laughs> yeah so why would you owe your allegiance to a corporation i don't the only people that we owe allegiance to is the Sharif and authority, our government, our de jure government, not somebody that received a charter uh, from the Sultan of Morocco. See, they're trying to say that under this charter that you fall under their jurisdiction, which we'll get to a little later, uh, but that does not give them the authority that gives them the authority to set up and do business on the land, but not to have you owe allegiance to them. And that's the significance of that. So we're going to continue. Uh, citizenship. Citizenship. One of the three statuses, conditions or qualifications of persons. The term citizen and citizenship are distinguishable from resident or inhabitant. Civis. Civis. Latin. Latin in mm. Roman law, a citizen as distinguished from incola, an inhabitant origin or both constituting the former domicile, the latter. Civis. Latin, in Roman law, a citizen as distinguished from Incola. Incola being an inhabitant, which would be an indigenous, autochthonous, more. So, distinguished from. Citizen is a separate category. Hmm. Origin or birth constituting the former domicile the latter and we'll pick up with subject subject constitutional law one 
that owes allegiance to a sovereign and it's governed and is governed by his laws. The natives of Great Britain are subjects of the British government. Men in free governments are subject, subjects as well as citizens. As citizens, they enjoy rights and franchises. As subjects, they are bound to obey the law. Webster, the term is little used in this sense in countries enjoying a Republican form of government. Okay. So you, by you being an indigenous autochthonous Moor, you can't be a subject, right? Mm -hmm. Because subjects are bound to obey laws. Whose laws? The corporation. Right. So they're trying to throw their jurisdiction over the top of you, which if you're an indigenous Moor, that can't happen because you're in Cola by birth, right? Yes. You're from the land. Okay. As citizens, they enjoy rights. Franchise, as subjects, they are bound to obey the laws, which are those corporate laws. Uh, Webster, the term is little used in the sense uh, in the countries enjoying a Republican form of government. Subject and then protege. Protege, one who is protected or trained or whose career is furthered by a person of experience, prominence, or influence. Influence. Examples of protege in a sentence. He was a protege of a great composer. Famous or influential Negroes, Blacks, and Colors. So the reason why I put that in there is in that 1952 France versus United States, the court, international court, said that the corporation still had jurisdiction over subjects and protégés, right? Protégés, one who is protected or trained or whose career is furthered by a person of experience, prominence, or influence. Who's that sound like? I don't know. Corporations of its influence. Well, but more to the to the root of it. Because we're talking subjects and proteges, right? Which we established we're still under the, the uh, jurisdiction of the corporation. Correct. Right? So if subjects and proteges are still under the uh, jurisdiction of the corporation, a protege would be like the cops and stuff? Uh, judges them too but I'm I'm, I'm kind of thinking more morals. something that's more close to home no who's your leaders oh, snap. who's the uh, the politicians your black politicians your church deacons and uh, pastors your uh, uh, influ influential uh, they, NBC they work for the Right. Because they're protégés, right? And it says here, one who was protected or trained, right? Because they're not trained to have our best interest because they're puppets. They're on a string. So subjects, NBCs, protégés being those people that they pick out and select for training, right? Serve their purposes. I got you. Okay. Controlled opposition. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Whose career is furthered by a person of experience. The corporation can pick you out and say, you know what? We like the cut of your jib, right? We're going to give you a nice title. We're going to give you whatever the case may be. But we need you to keep these NBCs in line. So as a protege, you're being uh, protected and trained by a corporation who is going to further your career, give you prominence and influence. And this is examples of protégés. Uh, he was a protégé of a great composer. So he's a, a student. He studied under. So all these uh, 
political types, your uh, senators, your your black caucus, maybe your um, uh, what were all the preachers that showed up in Trump's office the other day? I got your black caucus and all them people. Proteges. Because they're being protected and trained. Right? So we're going to go on to this next word, jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. The word is a term of large and comprehensive import and embraces every kind of judicial action. It is the authority by which courts and judicial officers take cognizance of and decide cases. The legal right by which judges exercise their their authority, it extends exists when court has cognizance of class of case involved. Proper parties are pre present and the point to be decided is within issues. It is the authority, capacity, power, or right to act. Jurisdiction embraces every kind of judicial action. It is the authority by which courts and judicial officers take cognizance of and decide cases. So they take possession of you hmm? because you're in their jurisdiction. Because why? You were a citizen. Oh subject or protege and you're under their jurisdiction because you're not a more right so when the court has possession of those class of citizens because they said there's several different classes of citizens right and the cases involve proper parties are present and the point to be decided is within its issues it's within the boundaries of the court it is the authority capacity and power or right to act or to to govern that particular case issue or those peoples. Jurisdiction definition is one of the lengthier ones in Black's Law. I went ahead and took out all the case law so you wouldn't have to stumble over that. But uh, go ahead, it, it, is, it is the power of him. It is the power of him who has the right of judging, the power of dictatories and courts it is power conferred by the constitution or by the law it is kind it's it is of three kinds of the subject matter of the person and of and to render particular judgment which was given the word may include or refer to jurisdiction of a particular case or jurisdiction of subject matter jurisdiction of subject matter and the person civil criminal family right there different kinds of court cases. So a civil uh, magistrate wouldn't particularly have the jurisdiction to rule on a criminal matter or a family matter. It has to be within the scope of their, their caseload. And we, got, we already just talked about of the person because that would be whether you're a citizen, protege, or, or a subject. So that's of the person, subject, protege, citizen, uh, subject matter being the kind, and then uh, jurisdiction being of the locality or in relation to proximity. Proximity is what I'm trying to say. Because it's another state is not going to have jurisdiction over you because they have no proximity to you. They're way too far away. So when, when uh, let's say we get requests all the time on uh, gov.ampact.org, right? Where they say, well, can I nationalize under you? And I say, no, because why? They're not in our jurisdiction. They're not in our jurisdiction under our Udi Pasadetis jurisdiction, right? And they're too far away. There's no, we don't have proximity to them to be able to aid them in any way, shape or form. So I would be doing them a disservice by trying to nationalize them because one, I don't have a jurisdiction over their particular territory because under our law, we govern within our jurisdiction, a newly jurisdiction, jurisdiction, right? And we don't go outside of it because that's one international law and two, that's what we acceded to. Um, jurisdiction of the person is power to subject parties in a particular case to decisions and rulings made in such case. 
So the federal jurisdiction, like if you go to uh, Supreme Court, right? And the probably the the biggest case of the day is that Roe v. Wade, right? Having to do with uh, reproductive rights. So they, as a federal court, have jurisdiction of the person over their citizens, subjects, and proteges, right? And they can subject those parties in that case to the, their decision because they're the federal court. And they have jurisdiction of all subject, proteges, citizens. So in that particular case, they're saying, oh, that's not going to be legal anymore. And then they're going to spread that decision uh, throughout their corporate franchisees. Now, those franchisees don't have power to overturn that because that federal court has jurisdiction of the person at the highest level. So there's really nothing they can do. Nation. Nation. A people or aggregation of men existing in the form of organized jural society usually inhabiting a distinct portion of the earth, speaking the same languages, using the same customs, possessing, possessing historic continuity and distinguished from other like, like groups by their racial origin and characteristics, characteristics and generally, but not necessarily living under the same government and sovereignty. Continue. National, pertaining or relating to a nation as a whole, commonly applied in American law to institutions, laws, or affairs of the United States or its government, as opposed to those of the several states, Moorish national. Our position as nationals is to say that our population, our people, our aggregation of men, including women, because that's a general term, Aggregation of men existing in the form of our organized Euro society, our government is its own jurisdiction. And that we don't have, um, we're not obligated to observe the authority of this uh, corporation, their charter, or their franchisees. Meaning the U.S. Corporation, uh, the state of Colorado, the lower levels of the city, the Denver City County, or let's break it down, even HOAs, right? Because those are all forms of government. And as nationals, as a people, as an aggregation of men, women, children, wars, mothers and sons, we exist in the form of an organized rural society inhabiting a distinct portion of the earth, which is our Udi Pasadena's jurisdiction that we've claimed, speaking the same language, using the same customs, fezes, turbans, what have you, possessing a historic continuity, I mean, history of being a indigenous, autochthonous war, right? and distinguished from other light groups by their racial origin, characteristics, and generally, but not necessarily, living under the same government and sovereignty. So we, we distance ourselves from the uh, citizens, the uh, subjects, and the protégés by being a nation, by being a national, by having our own organized rural society. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Brother Owen? Oh, exactly.